Leonard and I are back for round two of Filmathon. <laughs> If you watched the previous video, then you'll know that I'm doing a huge filmathon where I'm filming a load of videos because in a week or less, I am going to England for three weeks. <laughs> Excited, sad, distraught, hyper, everything. Now, if you read my blogs or you follow me on social media, you may have noticed a few times I've kind of been complaining about my backpack, Babs. She's a 70 litre Carrymore and I do love her, but I am sick to death of living out of a backpack. I know, please don't disown me. I'm just sick of having to pull everything out, put everything back in and lug around 70 litres. And then every time I unpack, I realise I don't use half of it. And I'm still quite a minimalist traveller. So the reason that I'm packing more is because I can. And that's what I've always said to you. So from Thailand onwards, which is happening in June, I will be going hand luggage only. And this includes going to New Zealand in winter. So I have to pack winter clothes into a little hold all. And now let us show the bag. Here she is. Isn't she pretty? So the reason I liked this is because it has three way straps. It opens up nicely. Um, but I'm gonna run through all that now in a little bit more detail. So I purchased this from Kathmandu. It is the Shuttle Cargo V4. It is a 40 liter. And as I said, the greatest standout thing is that yes, it has straps, which will be great if I'm in a rush or want to throw it on my back, but you can adjust these straps to put it over your shoulder or you can simply carry it in lots of different ways. I want to be able to fit everything into this, including my laptop, my wires, all my tech, my tripod, my cameras, my clothes, my wash bag, some shoes, and 40 liters, it's totally doable. I got a thing here, so I gotta get rid of it. So as you can see, the straps are on this side, and this is one of the selling points to me, that this, if it's on your back, is the part that's showing, and there's absolutely zero access to the bag, so I'm not gonna be as worried about pickpockets and thievery. So on this side, the shoulder straps are really well padded, and I put this on my back for a little while the other day with a bit of weight in it, and it feels great, shockingly, for something that technically isn't a backpack. And then we have this beautiful large main compartment. Now I wanted, like I said, I hate taking things in and out of my backpack constantly, so I wanted something where I could see all of the contents of my bag and pack properly and find things easily. So it's a really large inside and we have a little mesh pocket here, which I know I will never use because I don't like them. Let's zip this back up. And then at the top, we have another compartment, which is absolutely great, I realized, because it's quite thick. You can't see. It's quite large, and obviously that takes up into the space of the main compartments as well. However, I thought this section would be great to throw my wash bag in and a micro towel, um, just so when you arrive somewhere, you're still not rooting through things. You can just open this zip, you got your wash bag, maybe a change of clothes, and you're good to go. I like quick access to things to make me fresh when I arrive at a place. Uh, the only other pocket is on the side. Now, I thought this would be great, you could easily put if this is your only bag uh, passport tickets uh, money little valuables because if it's on your shoulder then it has really quick access the weight of the bag if you're interested is 0.8 kilograms which um you can get much lighter but actually this is super light it's absolutely ridiculous um and i'm really excited about this this is just kind of a sneak peek video of what i'll be traveling with for this i'm gonna have to fit jeans jumpers thermals big socks and everything in, but the best way to do that is to wear all your bulkiest stuff when you're on the move. And do you think I'm gonna be able to do it? I think I'm gonna be able to do it. And we are gonna be saying goodbye to Babs when I get home, she will be left there. And if you haven't noticed, unlike Babs who has a lot of straps on her, this one has no Elmo accommodation. Now, if you can figure out a way that I can get Elmo onto this bag securely, because normally I strap him really tight onto the side of my old backpack, then let me know. If not, Elmo might have to stay in England as well with Babs and hate me and resent me. So there you go, that's the bag. We're gonna be starting the hand luggage only challenge. I have no idea if the dimensions will actually coincide and comply with hand luggage restrictions, 
but it's not that big. It says on the tag that it is suitable for hand luggage. Um, and the guy in the stop shop said it would be okay. But I haven't actually checked dimensions. I just brought it. Uh, if you want to know the price, it was originally $159, which I would never pay in a million fucking years. Uh, however, it was on sale and I got it for 56, I think. So I couldn't pass up that deal. I did have my eye on another one, which was the Tom Bin Aeronaut 45. Tom Bin, I'm obsessed with her products, but I could not afford 250 bucks for a bag that doesn't even include the shoulder straps or anything like that. So maybe one day, maybe I could be fortunate enough to work with Tom Bin because I think that's the only way I'm ever gonna get one of their bags. But yes, it's like bag porn, their website. It should be R-rated. <laughs> anyway, this video is getting really weird. It's generally why I don't film multiple videos in one day because the longer I ramble, the weirder I get. So this is the beginning of the hand luggage only challenge. My next video will probably be on this in England when I'm packing up to leave. So look out for that. That'll be happening in about one month's time. So if you like this, give it a big thumbs up. Let me know what you think about the hand luggage only challenge. One bag to fit absolutely everything in. Um, have you done it? How did you find it? Any tips on getting small, warm clothes all nicely fitted in there? All your tips are really, really appreciated. So let me know. Also, don't forget, you can like me on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram, all at Psycho Traveler, but the links are down below, and I will see you soon. Oh my god, I'm going home. <laughs> Bye. They're ridiculously large, but I love them. They're so cozy. So I'm going to be rocking these out in the airport and on the plane.